Matt Step, Dave Campbell's Texas football here at Pridgen Stadium in Cypress, Cy Fair ISD with the Country Meets Road Tour with the head coach of the Cy Fair Bobcats, Coach Jeff Miller, after a big 51 to nothing win over Cy Ridge here on Saturday afternoon. First off, Coach, congratulations on uh, wrapping up that number one seed in Division One. Well, appreciate it. The kids are really starting to play well. First off, uh, Coach, last year when I came in and watched you guys play, it was week two. You're playing a, a senior heavy ball club, and you guys were playing a bunch of sophomores. You, you told me how young you were last year. Uh, and this looks like a different ball club. Those, those young guys that have grown up, they've played a lot of varsity snaps. And to me, it looks like you guys are starting to peak at the right time. Are you feeling that kind of vibe with this ball club? They're, they're starting to play their best football at the right time of year? We really do. You know, they're really maturing. Uh, they're starting to uh, to gel. I mean, with the momentum is, you know, really starting to build. And, uh, you know, just starting to play with a ton of confidence. You know, we're still awful young in a lot of spots. Yeah. But, but we have a lot of experience because of, you know, playing so many last year. And we certainly took our lumps last year. But, uh it's uh, you're really starting to come together, and like I said, the kids are playing great, and, and you can see they're they're playing with a lot of confidence and having a lot of fun. Uh, got you know some pretty good swagger, and so a little loose group. They're, they're a little bit of a loose group, aren't they? They really are, but man, I tell you what, the focus, uh, the focus, you know, Monday through Friday is is incredible, and real proud of just oh their overall maturity. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, Cy Fair for years and years and years has been known as a team that lines up. They're going to run right at you. They're going to get downhill, and, and they're going to they're going to play physical football. And you still have that, but you've also now got a guy who, who's who's dealing at quarterback who, who can make some plays. Tell us about your quarterback and what makes him a special player because he's he's obviously uh, getting some a lot of attention. You know, he's uh, well, he's got all the intangibles. I mean, you know, he's uh, he's got the the great arm. He can make every throw. Honestly, he. Uh, uh, you know, he's an awful smart kid. You know, high IQ football and and outside of football, uh, he's a great teammate, and uh, you know, he, he really reads things well. He's, he's very coachable, and you know, really just uh, like I said, just has the ability to make every throw and right and, and got an incredible group of uh, receivers out there that he's throwing to, and a line that's doing a, a pretty dang good job of protecting for him. And, you know, he put all those things together. Good things can happen. Uh, defensively, you guys have been solid all year. You pitched a shutout today. Obviously, you pitched a shutout. You're doing doing things right. Uh, what what's what makes this defense special, and what what's going to what are they going to need to do as as you get the weather gets cold and, and the playoff run starts? Well, you know that's three shutouts in a row, and so they're really starting to you know again the whole squad's playing with a lot of confidence, but uh, defensively, you know especially. Um, and it starts up front. I mean, our defensive line, we feel like it's about as good as there is. They're um, really good, Coach. Yeah, they really yeah, are. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, we've got linebackers that are very active and, uh, you know, fly around and do some good stuff. And then our secondary is really starting to come around. And, again, there's a bunch of young kids on that side as yeah. well. So, uh, but, you know, it's just all of, all of this group, man, they had an incredible offseason, a great summer. And, you know, it's just kind of been building, fortunate enough, knock on wood, that, you know, we're pretty injury uh, – we've got everybody healthy yeah. right now. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, it's just like like you mentioned at the beginning, everything's just kind of coming together at the right time. All right, final question before I let you out of here, Coach. Uh, it's Halloween time. The, the drill team was dressed up in their Halloween costumes tonight. It's, it's spooky season, as uh, Ashley Pickle likes to say. I want to ask you for you, when you were a kiddo and you were out there trick-or-treating and you got your bag of candy – what was the one thing if you saw that in your bag of candy it, it, you were you were happy about? What was the, what was the one one kind of candy you wanted? Oh, Reese's. Reese's, Reese's peanut, peanut butter, butter cups. Oh Absolutely. my man, that, no, is, that is my guy. No yeah, there's no question. It's the it's the best candy in the world, right? And if you have to settle for something else, Butterfinger ain't bad. No, Butterfinger's not bad either. Butterfinger goes good in a blizzard, right? I agree. Yes, sir. Go. Coach, uh, enjoy the win. Uh, good luck next week in that big big ball game against Houston Memorial, and uh, we'll see you come playoff time. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Thanks, coach.